Hi, my Tubies, my TikTokers, Sheila True Love here with you. And what I want to do is I want to share something with you right now just to show you how much women have changed. I saw this clip and I was like, what? I'm going to share this with you and I'll come back with my commentary. And I know this is going to freak you out too. I really believe, I know you think you've seen it all. But take a look at this. It's a lot of me. I'm not leaving Micah, so you won't leave? I'm not leaving. Don't make me. I'm not. Stop playing. There's two things that's going to happen. We all going to be in this together or you going to get out. Because I'm, I'm really tired of arguing today. I'm trying to go out. We, we can do something beautiful today. Now, this is a woman. She confronts her husband and his boyfriend. Okay? This is unbelievable. Hey, but you... In here acting all crazy, and I'm what not am I having doing? it. I mean, they, I love you. What am I Get doing? Out. Like, tell me. Get out. No. Please, please, please. No, I'm not doing this with you. Can you, right you tell now. me what am I doing? Well, you haven't provided. You don't pay rent. What? You don't. You don't do anything Are around you... the house unless you really, really feel so. Angry. Honestly, what do you actually bring into this relationship in this house? Because as far as I'm concerned, we paying the rent, we buying the groceries, and you sitting here watching. TV all day, watching Zeus Network. I constantly yeah. listen to you anytime you have a problem, anytime you're mad with him, anytime you're mad with anything. Girl, I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need more than that. Yeah. I, got mad. I got a lot of people want to listen to me. It's not I got a lot of people want to listen to me. You're going to do a lot more than that if you want to be up in here We gonna be, if, the, if this won't work. So they listen at 1 o'clock in the morning and just tired and tired and they got to go to work first thing at 6 a.m. like me at the airport? No, you know that was me. That's what I don't understand. Is how you working at the airport but you ain't got no money? Cause we still paying the rent, we still paying the bills. These lights that you see, that's on, that's all us. So what you even doing? You know what's going what you on. What you going to work for? You no, know, I just got. That's the whole point. You I don't have to get out. You don't have to get out. And none of it is coming from you at all. Eight hundred is coming out of my pocket. So I'm trying to. Figure and out I, I had to. I had to. I had to report this because it's going to happen every time. Bringing more to the table than you. Every time you try to find happiness, it's going to be going to be people like this. It's going to do what they're going to do. I don't know why you ain't comfortable. You better get up, girl. No, what? I don't know we why, are I don't in. We've been in the relationship for three up, years. Back up, back up. Michael, let her get up for herself. But you need to get up. You need to get out of this house. You, you need to I ain't going I'm sorry. nowhere. You you gotta leave. I am the one who has been with him. I'm the one who has met his family. You're still haven't hey, been met his um, sister, have mm -hmm. you? Me and his sister are best friends. <laughs> that because we matter. know what it's like they, to they be around him. Me. We need to make I'm sure he's in the family, and they don't love me. They're going to love me more than you. And Yo, I already told you what it was. It was going to be you, me, and him, or it was going to be nothing at all. And right now, you don't want him in the picture, so you're going to have to leave. I didn't say that. I just said you need to spend a little bit more time with me. Did I or did I not say that? We're going to spend time yeah. together if you don't want that. You don't that. need to spend time together. We're going to spend time together, and if you don't want that, you can go ahead and leave. And you still here. Exactly. Why are you still here? Because it's you a look goofy. You know, Look, I am in a relationship. I am in a committed relationship. Something we happened. are in a relationship. We and you don't like that. You ain't happy no more. Everybody here happy. Mike, are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. Why are you not happy? I'm happy. I don't know what you're talking about. You're trying to so bring me to the You don't want to keep on lying on me, dude. That is not fair. Ain't nobody so lying. Don't say I'm lying because I told you what it was from the start. I told you it was going to be you. You're lying and that. saying I'm not happy. And when I told so you, what's I the Why you here? Why are you here? If you why you here? Why you here? If you just stop, stop putting that, stop putting that here because I want to work out our issues. I want to make a compromise, but she just wants your way. There ain't like, no compromise. I'm trying to tell you. Compromise. What is the compromise? We don't all have to hang out together all the time. Yes, we do. We're in a committed relationship with each other. Girl, you wasting my time. Girl, you wasting my time. Girl, you wasting my time. I don't even know why I'm keeping you around anymore because you don't look the same as you used to. Sweetie, oh, oh, you your mustache. Okay, okay and <laughs> with a mustache that's strong. With I'm just confused why she's still here. Too. I'm confused why you still here. Cause if we being honest, if we being honest, if we being honest, I'm I'm really tired of you. Because he makes sure the house clean. He makes sure I'm eating food when I get home. He making sure that bills is paid. All together, right, we doing food. it together. When you, so, I don't make sure you eat food. Girl, you ain't food. never in the mood, and he always is. So what you mean? 
And the times when you are, when the times when you are in the mood, I don't even like it for real because you're not putting in effort enough. My bad. And Mike can do everything to make sure I'm straight. And I can't do everything, and I'm not all the time. Sorry if I got those hormonal female issues. You know, it's just part of the time. So what? So what? I can't do nothing about that. If you want him gone, I'm going to tell you. So what you going to do? You can find a way to adjust. And you can not hold him. At the end of the day, when it comes to being a companion, a true companion, you're not there. Look, if you wasn't going to... If you wasn't gonna be okay with it, and if you was, if you was gonna start start slacking after everything started, you should have never let Micah come in. Never. Cause look at him. Wait. Do, doing things that you can't do. Wait. Around this house and in that room. Well, so, the way you talking about him? I should have known that you really wanted him. I mean, good God! I mean, how many times can you spend so much time? Really, enough is enough. I mean, and you enough never talked about. Oh, you never. Enough yes, is enough. enough. Yeah, enough is enough. How so? Enough is enough for us to have you in this. This. this well, the I thing know. is, you're the only one unhappy. I'm happy with my. You're not ready to be a part of all this, and you need to get out. And you're still here. You still here. I get it. You want me, but I want Michael too. So you gonna have the both of us. You gonna have none of us. Choose. And that's the choice. No, what you gonna it's do? not gonna come out like that. Cause at the end of the day, I'm going to stick together with the man I. But I've already you told you what it's gonna be. That's I've cool. already told you, and you trying to argue back and forth about what what it ain't and what it is. I'm not leaving my stop playing. It's two things that's gonna happen. We all gonna be in this together, or you gonna get out? Cause I'm I'm really. Have I lost my mind? Am I dreaming? Am I in a twilight zone? Never let a man have to tell you twice that he don't want you. Mike does everything for me. He cooks. Well, he's doing a little bit more than her. He cooks. He cleans. He's servicing him in the bedroom. He can do things for me that you can't do. <laughs> Time to get a strap on, honey. <laughs> anyway, I, and, and one thing I must um, admit, I'm so sick of these women this day and age talking about, you know, they want a free ride. He, she works at the airport. She has money coming in, but she don't help out with the bills. You know, she the true love. I already told you I'm a 50-50 uh, girl because I hear too many times of these men talking about, I pay all the bills around here. I get to call the shots, turn off the lights. You go to bed when I go to bed because I'm the one paying the bills. And, you know, they're sitting here constantly throwing it in your face. I listen to other women who have who are constantly going through that where he's constantly throwing things in, in their face. When it comes to cooking and cleaning, you're not his mother. He don't need no woman for that. You know, he got a man actually to pull that one off. But when it comes to cleaning and cooking and let him do his own laundry, yeah, he don't need you for that. He could get his mother to come over and do the cooking and cleaning the laundry and all of that. But this is how sad, you know, and it, it's sad how desperate women have become until they're willing to share their husband, that's her husband, with a man. And, 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 and women are willing to put up with all of this just to say, hey, look, validate me. If I have a man, that means I have worth and value, right? How pitiful is this? She needs to pack her stuff and she needs to be gone. What? She, the moment he sat up there and told you that he likes to swing it like that. I don't understand what's going on with the women of today. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I just don't understand. I, I'm trying to understand. Oh, let me hear some more. What? Oh my God. I'm trying to go out. We, we can do something beautiful today, but you in here acting all crazy and I'm what not having doing? it. I mean, babe, I love you. What am I Get doing? Out. Like, tell me. Get no, please, please. Babe, I love you. Please, no, I'm not tell, doing this with you. Can you right tell now. me what am I doing? Well, you haven't provided. You don't pay rent. What? You don't you don't do anything Are around you? the house unless you really it's really good. feel so she don't provide. She don't pay none of the rent. She just looking for. She's a freeloader, really. You know. Uh, yeah. I. 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 I don't understand all of that. Um, you know. The only way I think that a man should pay for everything, and the woman should always have her income still, is if he wants her to have his children. Now, if he wants to have children and babies, then of course he'll pay for the rent and all of that, while her pay, her income, goes for her and the child or the children. And that's just until she goes back to work and put these kids in, 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 in a daycare somewhere. 
And I think about the Proverbs 31 wife and mother, she had maid servants. So if a man can't afford to bring maid, maid servants, what we call them nannies, if he can't afford to have a nanny in the house, he shouldn't be having children. You shouldn't be with him. He's not making enough money to be having children. Even the capable wife in Proverbs 31, the perfect wife, she's considered the perfect wife. She had maid servants. She was out there wheeling and dealing, a hustler, making money, buying property, buying land. Miss Thing wasn't sitting up there waiting on his, her husband's paycheck to take care of her. She carried her own weight while she had, you could say, nannies, and she had a maid service. So going forward, if these men want you to have children, sweetheart, can you afford a nanny? Because I'm not doing everything with these god dang blasted kids. But anyway, I had to share this. This is crazy. Let me listen more. Honestly, what do you actually bring into this relationship in this house because as far as i'm concerned we paying the rent we buying the groceries and you sitting here watching tv all day watching Zeus you network i constantly you listen to you anytime you have a problem anytime you're mad with him anytime you're mad with anything Girl, I'm, I'm gonna need more than that i'm gonna need more than that <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of people want to listen to me of course listen. you got people that you could always find to talk to sweetheart nobody care about that crap and like he said, you better bring much more than that to the table. You've lost your damn rabbit mind. I listen to you. I what? No, baby. Uh-uh. And I don't condone no man laying up with a man like he would with a woman because we already know how God, our creator and designer, feel about that. But this woman, she's just, she's something must be wrong. Her brain must be fried up. Too much TAC or something's wrong with her. <sighs> I got a lot of people want to listen to me. You're going to do a lot more than that if you're going to be up in here. We gonna, if, this, if this won't work. So then listen, at 1 o'clock in the morning, just tired and tired. And they got to go to work first thing at 6 a.m. like me at the airport? No, you know that was me. That's what I don't understand. Is how you working at the airport but you ain't got no money? Hello? Because we still paying the rent. We still paying the rent. Hello? <laughs> this dude is coming out of pocket 800 a month. And how much is he come? What you coming out with? Thinking that you just get to primp and walk around and what? And like he said, you don't look like you used to, girlfriend. What's up? And I told you, ladies, when your looks start to change and your body starts to change, watch how their feelings start to change. I see it all the time on Facebook. Runaway husbands. Oh, please, y'all. Let me show you the things that I see. Uh-uh. No, baby. You got Just go on Facebook. Runaway husbands, runaway fathers. Like you have a lot of the women who say, I'm not having anyone's baby anymore until I'm married. They act like being married, that's going to make a difference. They don't care if you're married. I was married. I followed all the rules. You know, you give your virginity to your husband. That's who you lose your virginity to before you have children. You have don't want to bring children out of wedlock. I got married. I uh, was with my husband like a year. Then we decided, then we had kids. I didn't even want kids, to be honest with you. But the thing is, I ended up pregnant, whatever. And I was pregnant again one year after another, married. What difference does it make that I was married? I still ended up a single mother, a baby mama. <laughs> what good to be married do? you? I, these women talk about, oh, I'm going to get married before I have kids. Like, that's a safety net. No, it's not. No, it's not. She's not carrying her weight anyway. Yeah, she's definitely expendable. Bye-bye. These lights that you see, that's on, that's on us. So what you even doing? You know what's going what you on. What you going to work for? No, I just got, that's the whole point. I'm you don't have to get out. I got to get out. He said, you got to get out. You got to go. Mm -mm, bye. Hunter's coming out of my pocket. So I'm trying to figure out. I, I had to, I had to, I had to report this because it's gonna happen every time. Every time you try to find happiness, it's gonna be gonna be people like this. It's gonna do what they gonna do. I don't know why you ain't comfortable. You better get up, girl. No, what? I don't know we why, are I don't in. We've been in the relationship for three years. Back up, back up. Michael, let her get up first. She's been putting up with this for three years, and okay, no, she's been putting up with this. For three years, honey. Is this crazy or what? And she's talking about, I'm fighting for my marriage. I made a commitment. 
Okay, I gotta go, Thomas. I love you. Bye. It's ridiculous.